And happening tomorrow, the historic Project Row Houses in Houston's Third Ward celebrates their 30th anniversary. We go to Iloka, got a sneak peek of what they plan to share with the community. I put like X's and O's and, and my little uh, caricature of, of a house here. Floyd Newsom showed me his newest artwork displayed in his Project Row House in Third Ward, full of abstract colors and images of family members. The great thing was that artists came into an area that was drug infested and, and changed it. He was one of those artists and a founding member of Project Row House, along with six others. We discovered these houses, which were built in the 40s. They were abandoned for a decade or so and reclaimed them. From the rich to the poor, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, we all got together and, and refurbished these homes. Row houses, AKA shotgun homes, were commonly built in neighborhoods where black people settled after emancipation. The shotgun house has been something historically in the African-American community. The names of the founders are listed on the houses in alphabetical order with artwork displayed inside and outside. I'm standing in front of two art sculptures of Burt Long Jr. He is one of the seven founding members who was no longer with us. But his memory lives on here in this rich cultural art district in Third Ward. Since 1993, Project Row Houses is still giving back to the community with their outreach programs, artist exposure, and business neighborhood development plans. That was first 30 years, now we got 30 more years. And we're gonna do some great things uh, even beyond what we've already done. Project Row House's founders round and block party is from 1 to 9 p.m. tomorrow, including food trucks, vendors, art houses, a kid zone, and live performances featuring Young Jock and Lil Kiki. Ugochi Iloka, KJU, 11 News.